there are rumours of a leadership challenge from within her own party by Boris Johnson, a grown man who perpetually looks like a seven-year-old who's just spun in circles for two minutes <laughs> and is about to throw up. And while Theresa May did manage to win re-election in her own constituency, even that came with some humiliation. Lord Buckethead. <laughs> 249. Oh! Oh, you can roll your eyes all you like, Theresa. Your evening just found a way to get a lot worse. <laughs> and for the record, Lord Buckethead is this guy, an intergalactic space lord who ran on a platform of, among other things, the abolition of the lords, brackets, except me. <laughs> and stop selling arms to Saudi Arabia, start buying lasers from Lord Buckethead. <laughs> and he did this, all while looking like Darth Vader fucked an Amazon Echo. <laughs> what I'm saying is... What I'm saying is... British politics, when done well, can be very fun. Pip the dog goes on a brief excursion to the Republic of Ireland and returns to the United Kingdom just as easily. This dog, uh, we, he had no licence to cross the border, so he'll have to go to jail now. <laughs> He's an illegal immigrant. Now, yes, yes. Now, yes, that is undeniably an objectively silly way to illustrate an important issue, although I will say I'm not sure there is a better metaphor for the British Empire than a jolly chap named Pip shows fuck all respect for a border. <laughs> this bit of land here is mine, and this one too, and this part is very fun to play around in. <laughs> and we haven't even got to what may be the most difficult issue of all here, and that is trade. Because pulling out of the EU single market without striking a favourable trade deal could expose UK products to high tariffs, and that is especially worrisome for farmers, since around two-thirds of the UK's agricultural exports go to the EU, not to mention the significant EU farm subsidies that would be lost. So it's frankly no wonder that farmers are concerned. The whole food industry, I believe, is at, at risk. Yeah, we're going to have a rub, haven't we? That's, that's what I do in life. Now, now, listen, could they have cut out of that interview before the pig started grinding on that post? Yes, but they didn't, because they knew that twerking pig may actually be the perfect embodiment of the entire Brexit situation. <laughs> it's in motion already, we're all powerless to stop it, and it is impossible to look away. If there's no deal, that leaves only one option. The cliff edge. The cliff edge describes the reality of one day being in the EU with everything that that means and the next day being out of it with no deal. You know, there is exactly one instance in which the melodramatic stock footage of an old-timey car flying off a cliff is appropriate for news broadcast and congratulations, you have all just witnessed it. <laughs> because if there is no deal, everything from tariffs to immigration would basically default to the harshest possible scenario, which could destabilise the entire country. After the Brexit vote, Boris Johnson, a man with the face of a Roald Dahl character and the uncomfortable racism of a Roald Dahl, claims... <laughs> that our policy is having our cake and eating it. Well, watch EU President Donald Tusk dismantle that idea. To all who believe in it, I propose a simple experiment. Buy a cake, eat it, and see if it is still there on the plate. <laughs> there will be no cakes on the table for anyone. There will be only salt and vinegar. Ouch! <laughs> Ouch, Donald, ouch! <laughs> Nothing but salt and vinegar. That is some tough talk, although someone should probably tell him that British people absolutely love salt and vinegar. <laughs> Just look at all of our variations on salt and vinegar crisps. So, to be honest, threatening the British by saying there will be only salt and vinegar on the table is like threatening the French by saying there will only be wine and baguettes, <laughs> or threatening the Swiss by saying there will only be chocolate and Nazi gold. Those are their two favourite things. They like those equally. 